What are you in for? Star Wars? That you? Hey everyone, this is Digital Charcuterie. Thanks for stopping by and shout out to all of our new subscribers on the channel. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button. We talk Star Wars, Batman, Penguin, X-Men, whatever you want. We talk about we are a charcuterie board of digital content today. A new trailer for Skeleton Crew dropped as well as a cool poster. Woo! Yeah, baby! That's what I've been waiting for. But let's get into the trailer. This show, I spoke about on Rebel Scum Podcast last week. No one's talking about the show. There's no buzz for the show. We're now a month away. And as of, I think, Sunday will be exactly one month until it's two-part debut on Disney+. Plus. Can't wait for it. I've been looking forward to it because Star Wars, look, we all know Star Wars is in a little bit of a funk. Let me know what you guys think of Star Wars. Is it in a funk in your opinion? And did you like the new Skeleton Crew trailer? Let me know in the comments down below. Well, do you understand? But it has been in in this little bit of a funk for a little while, right? Like Acolyte was one of those, it was, that was, you know, it came and it fizzled. The big thing with Acolyte wasn't even the show itself. It was just the the vibe around the show. Like the Star Wars vibe around the show just completely changed. It just altered. Like I think it was, it's been a, we're in a bit of a dark period for Star Wars. Before the dark times before the empire but this show you know they promised goonies and all that stuff and okay and the first trailer came and i really enjoyed the first trailer i said that looks fine like that looks like star wars now the argument is should star wars be fine should it be above fine that's whatever for another day but i was i was like okay that looks good i'm into this let's see where, where they're going now today a new trailer drops i need you to take the controls okay and it's a completely different trailer like completely different tone different vibe. i mean it's the same type of vibe with the kids on an adventure and whatever but it's very different and i was like okay let's see and the music kicks in i'm like all right all right and then we hear and then we hear major tom coming home by peter schilling german synth pop musician uh and this has definitely like a star warsy theme to it like a little star wars rendition of this song if you will and it plays out and i was like um needle dropping in the star wars are we at this point and then i start to think more and i say okay for me as you know i'm old i'm old gandalf it didn't not work. I'm not a big fan of when they use pop songs and trailers anymore. I kind of feel like that has kind of come and gone. Like we're past that now. It kind of bores me when they do that. This case, it kind of worked. But also then I was thinking, you know what? This is a show that had no buzz. No one's obviously talking about it. People who are talking about it, it's pretty negative. Everyone's kind of down on the show. It's for kids. Who's it for? I don't want to watch it. It's for kids. Meddling kids. And then I, if I look at it in that, in that way, I go, okay, you're right. It's for kids. And who's this trailer for? It's for kids. We have a new font for all of the credits, right? We have, we show the characters meeting in detention, very breakfast clubby, right? Or, you know, goofy movie. They're meeting for at detention in the hall. That's how these, the characters of Wim and Fern meet at detention. They kind of get to know each other. We learn that Wim is kind of like this lost soul who's kind of always wants to be on an adventure. And he's finally going to get on one, a middle schooler's hero journey, right? This is the dream that we all had when we were kids. You know, you get on your bike and you go for a bike ride, hoping to find treasure, but you never did because you live in the suburbs. That's what this feels like. But then we get into it and we see Jude Law, but how we meet Jude Law is very intriguing to me and that we meet him because the kids have old Republic credits, not new Republic credits, not Imperial credits, old Republic credits credits on rebel scum podcast 342 on that youtube channel executive producer said that she heard that a rumor that the planet that the kids come from is full of imperial loyalists and they don't want the kids found by the new republic because they don't want the new republic to know where they are that doesn't seem entirely accurate at this point but there is some truth into that so those rumors were somewhat true if not all true and that these kids come from a planet that is isolated from the rest of the galaxy. Nobody knows where they are. It says so right here on StarWars.com. And one day they find an old spaceship and it blasts them off into the galaxy. But finding their way back quickly becomes complicated. They realize once they're out there that no one's ever heard of their home planet. And Jude Law comes into play. And what is up with Jude Law? We know he's a new type of Jedi. In a recent interview, I think it was on Variety, he said, who even said he was a Jedi? Or, for, or who even said he could use a force is what he said. So is he a forceless Jedi? I mean, we see the key move in the first trailer. You're a Jedi. You know, one would assume, which you should never do, that he is 
a Jedi, but he's saying now we're learning this. The kids' home world is a bigger play. The parents are saying they might be in danger. They don't know what they're up against. They don't know their way home. We see in these pictures here that Jude Law is taking them on some kind of quest because he has a vested interest in where they're going. But we see the ancient language of the Sith written on these walls, which ties into the Ahsoka series. We know this is in the Mandoverse. What is the bigger threat at play? Is the threat something new, or is this just something that they're bringing? They're going to bring uh, Shivp Palpatine back into play. <laughs> Somehow Palpatine returns. We're going right back to that well because we can't do anything else. I think there's something more at play here. I hope they have something. You know, I've been hoping for the Grisk or whatever. A lot of people are speculating Abeloth. I don't think we're going to get that in Ahsoka. We could be leading to a revelation such as that to some capacity. Like, oh, we got to be careful of this. Balin is searching for something in Ahsoka. We know that. Jude Law might be on a, on a similar path as Balin in terms of what he's after. But again, this whole idea of a new type of Jedi, what is that Jedi? Not quite sure yet. We're going to find out in just a month. Well, probably over a month. We're not going to find out in the first episode. I don't think. I hope we see a lightsaber and I hope it's a cool color lightsaber. And that, and that gives us a clue as to what kind of Jedi Jod Nana Wood really is. And of course the adventure wouldn't be the Goonies adventure that they promised with a mention of booby traps. Be warned. Booby traps. Yeah, booby traps. We get it said right in here. They're going for it. We see some of the booby traps in action. We see Jude Law in action. A lot of fun stuff here. And again, with the tone, with the music, I think that Star Wars is in a spot now where they say, okay, we've lost fans. We need to bring fans in, obviously. But also, let's show exactly what the tone of this is. Let's not worry about being handcuffed to what makes Star Wars Star Wars because this is just a trailer after all. So why not go for it and put this song in and really try to reel fans in and say, hey, look, this is what we're going for. This is the mood that it is. This is the feeling, the vibe you're going to get from this show. And whether or not it works is obviously up to you. For me, it's something I'm still kind of dealing with. I think it kind of works and sometimes doesn't. But if you, even in Andor, a show that I very much like, it had like some synth rock in it, if I remember correctly. Like at some points, so I'm like, what is happening here? So it might be, you know, Star Wars is something. John Williams isn't coming back for all the Star Wars anymore. And obviously Mandalorian has a very, 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 very different sound than John Williams. Obviously they bring the cues in when Luke shows up and whatnot, but it's very different and it worked very well for Mandalorian. And maybe they're going to do something similar with Skeleton Crew where they're going to expand the sound of Star Wars. I think the movie should still probably have that whimsical John Williams stuff, but the TV shows, you know what, have at her. I've said this before. I think Skeleton Crew has a lot riding on it. I think if it's not very good, Star Wars is going to end up being in a very dark place. But if it is, if it is good, this is the first step in the right direction and i have pretty high hopes for this show again it might not be for me as an old old man it might be for a younger generation and i think that is also something that we have to come to terms with and accept that this might not be for us that doesn't mean it's bad and that doesn't mean that it's good it just means that it's not for our target for my target audience it means that it's made for somebody else but I scraped over too much bread and i've gone to movies with my nieces and nephews and i'm going to go through that with my daughter and i've seen things where i'm like i don't like this at all and they little kids you know five years old are like this is the greatest thing ever and sometimes you have to accept that and live with it here though i think we're in for a, i think we're in for a good adventure though this story looks fun now again the act it's gonna be a lot on the acting the puppeteering looks phenomenal i'm glad we're back to that neil looks great it's half uh puppet half have actor it definitely also has more of like an indiana jones vibe to it where they are on the action adventure of it all and i'm kind of excited for that but this suburban planet which i think some people were put off with at the beginning now is going to play a big factor in this story and where it's going and i'm really curious to see where that's going to play out nobody knows this planet exists so getting there is going to be a challenge <laughs> it's going to be a big challenge to get there also in the previous trailer they think they found a jedi temple now they're in a ship they fly off but his father wimp's father is there as they fly off there's something big happening with that planet that could have grave consequences for the rest of the galaxy again what that means i don't know because we know the sequel trilogy exists and that's not even involved in that and we know the mandoverse exists and nothing's been mentioned of it at all within the mandoverse and i believe the mandoverse is going to go on a parallel route as the star wars as a sequel trilogy and they're not ever going to connect right the characters of the mandoverse and the sequel trilogy characters aren't going to connect whatsoever aside from obviously ahsoka's voice and hera's voice but hera you can just pretend that that's somebody else and i think that's the only thing we're going to get there i think they're going to be separate and they're going to go their separate ways and they're going to branch out because it's a is a big galaxy out there. there's a big universe that star wars is in that's how i feel but i've look the trailer for the most part looked good i think i like the first trailer better this one's starting to grow on me the music's 
still not my favorite, but it's starting to grow on me too. I'm starting to accept what they're trying to do. Uh, just show me the tone, show me the vibe of what you're doing. I think that's really what it is. Again, because there hasn't been much about this out there. There hasn't been excitement for Skeleton Crew online. And I think they're trying to build that. And I think this trailer is in the right direction of doing that, especially with the demographic that they're after. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. Give us a like and a subscribe. And until next time, may the force of others be with you.